Welcome back. Handcrafted candles made using only the best ingredients. Welcome Holly Pastor. She's a co-owner of Delightful Soy Candles. How are you? I am great, thanks. It's good to have thanks you on the show today. Me. Thank this you. This stuff smells so good, I was worried that Nellie was going to come over here and try to taste or eat some of this stuff. Yeah. So what makes them smell so good? Well, we use only natural and botanical oils. Mm -hmm. And we use 100% soy wax. So soy wax burns a little bit slower than other waxes, so it really throws the scent out very well. Yeah, so I know in the old days when they made candles, they made them out of like, what, tallow and animal mm -hmm. fat? Paraffin. And the, and paraffin and that kind Paraffin's of stuff. Paraffin's horrible, yes. So, so why, is, why is paraffin bad? Well, paraffin has petroleum in it, mm -hmm. so it's derived from the petroleum. Petroleum is what causes your candles to turn black, gets up on your ceilings, your walls turn the black. Soot. You're breathing that soot in, yeah. so it's a toxin that you're breathing in as you're burning your paraffin candles. Because I've been in a lot of places where there's a whole bunch of candles burning, and they're regular old-time candles, and they smell pretty good, but the, the air in there must not be that great in a little small room right. like that. And sometimes they don't fragrance their candles properly either. They'll just fragrance the very top. By the time you get to the middle, you don't smell it at all. Uh -huh. Mine are fragranced all the way throughout because I hand stir, I hand make every one of them. So how do you so how do you go about making a candle? So we got we got a cup over here. It's got some it's got some nice little sparkles yeah. in, in the top of it there. So it's really cute. But how, what goes into making that candle? Well, I get my wax in 50 pound boxes, huge big boxes, mm -hmm. and this is what our wax looks like. When I get them, it's it looks like it looks like white chocolate, and that's actually derived from the soybean. So that's by the time I melt it down, it looks like a vat of canola oil. Mm -hmm. So you're essentially burning an oil candle. It's this from the soybean, so it's. So all this natural. stuff doesn't smell like anything. You can actually cook with that. It yeah. actually says kosher on my box, so that's safe to eat. Yeah. food safe. Kosher but means clean. In case people don't know that, right? I would eat it once I had my fragrance and coloring, but. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Exactly. Then, so how do you gather your fragrances then? How do you how do you make the fragrances? You know, I use um, natural and botanical oils. Again, um, I make sure that they don't contain any phthalates or parabens, which are bad chemicals, and mm -hmm. they cause a host of other medical problems. A lot of people say I can't burn candles and I can't handle the scents. A lot of times, it's those chemicals that are causing them to have an issue. Mm -hmm. What like this candle right here? Tell me about this one. Well, my Ohio State candle, one of my favorites and a customer fan favorite too. I bet. Because we all like Ohio, right? We've well, already had Ohio State. It smells like cranberry maybe? Yeah, that's our cranberry cobbler scent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's this one? That is our white Christmas. It has a little bit of pine and another fan favorite this time of year. I can't keep that one in stock. I hand paint the snowmen on it. Mm -hmm. so How do people buy yourself? Where do they find it? Um, we have a website. It's www.delightfulsoy.com. Mm -hmm. You've got a big event coming up too, don't you? I do. I have a couple. I'm going to be at Berry Mary tomorrow and Thursday. That's We're at the Normandy Party Center in Wycliffe. Oh, okay. There we go. Sunday. They also carry my wine glasses and my wine scents, one of my, another favorite. Um, I will be at Grand River Cellars out in Madison. I love that place. Yes. I mean, you go out there on the weekend to check out some of these wineries, and you're going to buy some wine, but in the gift shop, you'll also see a lot of your candles in many yeah. of the wineries, too. Ferrante, yes. right? Yep, Ferrante. Uh, Shelly Debonet, one Debonet's, of my favorites. Yeah. Yes. Yep, that's just a great area. Candles. That one whole street there that's got the distillery on it. Oh, my goodness, that's great where Shelly Debonet Wonderful is. area. M, M yeah. Cellar is a fantastic place. You mm -hmm. get it all there. And talking about the website, tell me a little bit about about like this one up here. It's got three wicks in it. So what's yeah, that for? So Well, that's our margarita candle. It's just a little bit wider. And that's one of the uh, tricky parts of making candles is to make sure that your wick is the right size. Mm -hmm. um, so that way it burns nice and evenly. Um, just, and our wick never has any of the lead or zinc because, mm -hmm. again, we're trying to keep it all natural. This one looks like it's got nutmeg or cinnamon on it. Mm -hmm. That's our eggnog. So yeah. So there you go. All these different yep, beautiful flavors. It's got flavors. Some nutmeg on it. Last question. Do you have a match? <laughs> I have several. <laughs> I bet you do. You should always carry matches. Always carry a match right? so you can burn it. Yeah. Name of the company is? Delightful Soy LTD. Can't beat that. Thank you very much.